guys, Brad here, and welcome back to another episode of It's Alive. Today we're going to be cooking fermented dickhead. Uh, you're going to want to get your dickhead and shove him in a fucking jar, leave him for five years, come back, he will have fully fermented, you get that, oh funky, oh mommy, ah oh, funky, oh mommy, bada bing, bada boom. My mama was raised in the era when clean water was only served to the fairer skin. Effects have causes, but causes have their own effects too. You're taking this shit for granted, it's all a lot more holistic than you're giving it credit for. These motherfuckers expect us to believe that time is rectilinear. Only rectal about that is my own one. Which way does time work? Just because we experience it in one way doesn't mean any sort of tachyon does. Just because we experience it in one way doesn't mean any sort of tachyon does. Bitches want to talk about the internet as if they know which way time flows. They don't know which way time flows, therefore their entire presuppositions are wrong. These motherfuckers expect me to believe there ain't no barrier. These motherfuckers expect me to believe that there is a barrier. Ain't none of that true. Ain't none of that true. People take it for granted, though. People take it for granted, though. These motherfuckers really expect me to believe. These motherfuckers really expect me to believe it ain't rhizomatic. These people expect me to believe it ain't rhizomatic. They don't even know about the machines. They literally don't even know about the machines. And they expect me to listen to them. When they literally don't even know about the machine. They literally don't even know about the machines and they expect me to listen to them. What? 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 They don't even know about the machines and they expect me to listen to them. Fucking bullshit artists. These people are bullshit artists. You don't understand. It, the key word they're being artist. The key word they're being artist. This is what you don't get. This is what you don't get. The key word there is not bullshit. The key word there is artist. And you're running around. You're running around. You're running around. And you don't even know which way time flows. You stupid bitch. You stupid bitch. Don't even know which way time flows. You stupid son of a gun. The branching implications of all your effects are much wider and less specific than you've been led to believe by yourself. Every choice branches like the butterfly effect, right? You you just you just do something. And it's only your intentions that make it work. As in, you just do something and it's only your intentions that make it work, right? So like, that's, that's how it's gotta be. So you can essentially, you know, some would call this sorcery. Some would call this sorcery. You know, some would call this sorcery. You know, some will call it sorcery, you can call it whatever you want, but the truth is your perceptions are limited. Uh, you, cannot, you can't necessarily understand the implications of all your choices, the, the effects of all your causes, the effects of all your causes, you can't necessarily understand them, you actually you necessarily can't understand them. But what's important here is, is the intent, is the positioning yourself at the center of it. Not in the center of it, because there's no center, but at, at, at the, the focal, at a certain focal point, at a certain crossroads, at a certain crossroads, that's what's important. And you position yourself there by generating it. You position yourself there by generating it. You know, it's all... <sighs> you know, okay, so let me take it this way. Let me take it, let me take it this way. Let me take it this way. So, you position yourself there by generating it. Right? But, uh, chaos magic. Where is it? Where is it? Where's chaos magic? Oh, right, that's right. Let me, it's over here. It's over here. Chaos magic is over here. So if I can do this. 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 Chaos magic is over here. Chaos magic is over here, right? It's been over here the whole time. 
It's been over here the whole time, you know? It's been over here the whole time. Chaos Magic has been over there the whole time, but Chaos Magic is not... Like, I don't like it. I don't like Chaos Magic as much as some of these motherfuckers. Because I think it slips. I think it slips and falls under its own preconceptions. What do I mean by that? God knows. Uh, <clears throat> but it's all, a, it's all a game to me. So, all of these things... All of these decisions you make impact the world's and the world's and the world's and branching implications that you can't possibly hope to understand. Everyone knows this. Everyone implicitly understands this, but they don't actually explicitly understand this. That's the point. They don't explicitly understand this. So, if you explicitly understood the branching implications of all your choices, then you could act holistically. Of course, that's not possible, but you could still try and influence. Well, not even try. You can. You can. You can simply by, by simply through intent. You can influence the butterflies, right? Uh, by by simply meaning to do something, by simply meaning it, hypersticionally. Hypersticionally, such a thing could occur. So, like, hypersticionally, something such a thing could occur. So you take you take your decision. You take your your start point, which isn't really a start point. Very important. The start point isn't really a start point because it's only a function of the decisions that have come before, and even those decisions are function of the decisions and function of decisions. It's secular, it's secular, it's it's fractilinear and it's secular, uh, cyclica, Cycli cyclical. It's cyclical, but it's flat, it's a, it's a recursive, recursive, recursive is the word I'm looking for, it's recursive. Uh, so, but regardless of the recursions, uh, you can, you, you make your choice, and that choice uh, tendrils, tendralizes. That choice tendralizes and uh, tantalizes and tenderizes uh, enzymatically, uh, rhizomatically, rhizomatically, uh, reaching, reaching. Uh, however, you will something, you will something, and the tendrils, are, because the tendrils will be there, the tendrils are so. The, 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 the rhizome is the universe, the rhizome is the underlying probability cloud, right? So, so you, 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 you impact, you decide, you decision, you, 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 uh, territorialize, you re-territorialize, um, or deter, whatever, and, and the, the, the flows, the branching, rhizome, universe, endpoint. No endpoint. The endpoint, intent, intent, guides, intent guides. Right, you get there. Hyperstition, birth, sporophytes, spontaneously disperse. You get it? No. <laughs> When you start uh, scratching the surface of perception, trying to gaze behind what you expect to see, you will realize that we are surrounded by concurrent realities segregated merely by our own lim self-limited cognition, right? It's a fractal. It's a fractal. It's a Mandelbrot set. Prepare for unforeseen consequences. The thing, Azathoth is much larger than you expect him to be. And the key word is not that he's larger relevant uh, relative to himself. Larger always relevant to you, your expectations and your perceptions. Uh, Azathoth reaches out in a sort of cloud is not I don't really like a cloud but cloud will have to do in a sort of cloud and uh, fuck, am I gonna say rhizome again you could say rhizome again I don't really feel like I'm, I'm over saturating this but you could say rhizome again uh, and it's always has to necessarily be larger than it's or larger than you expect it to be because if it's, it has to be, because expectations have to be, Azathoth has to be larger, or Azathoth's actions have to be further reaching, Azathoth's um, thought creation has to be further reaching than you expect it to be, because if it wasn't, then it couldn't be Azathoth, it couldn't be, he, he has to be uh, stupid, he has to be an idiot god, right? 
otherwise you know that's his that's his nature so that therefore your clearly you, you, the only way is to rather than try to holistically interpret you have to um implicitly deny certain things you have to focus on implicitly you have to focus on isn'ts right you have to focus on certain on differences you have to focus on difference you have to you have to see that that's uh, like you know not not this is for what it is but this is for what it isn't uh, that's I mean that's that's clearly the only methodology that makes sense otherwise you're it's futile you're just gonna run into walls of overwhelming you know complexity that that seem like uh, too grand, too grand to, to too too complex or too too so large that you can't comprehend that it's even there. Like uh, like you walk outside and you see you see the sun in the sky. You don't think about how the sun is like 53 million times the size of the earth or whatever the fuck it is. I just made that number up my ass, but you know what I mean. Like if if you can you you can't physically focus on comprehending all of this stuff. That's beside the point. If you try and comprehend all of this stuff, you're literally like you can't. The human brain cannot do it. Uh, the the, 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 the maybe some sort of hyper autistic uh, sort of sort of post autistic post human thing could do it. Uh, but for now we can't. So rather than trying to, trying and obviously necessarily failing to appreciate the entire system, not possible. You should, or you not you should, but you may, you may, uh, tang tangibly impact such a thing with with your intent. With your intent, you may tangibly impact impact um, one or two flows, you know, one or two flows, one or two flows from various points, that way, when they're birthed, or, or you know, re-territorialized, uh, they categorically must contain within them your intent, contain within them your intent, BAM, BOOM, POW, Shades of in-between. Thesis one. It happens to everybody. Cross-cutting colors are shades. Various complicities with darkness. Fog tones. The lights in the sky are going out. Last time you noticed, it was five past two. Suddenly it's five to six and rapidly darkening. Something happened on the road, as it does for everyone. Something that comes back later, in waves. Mystic return to the core of identity through nosebleeds, blackouts, orange lights, and humming. They were star gods. It felt like rape and vivisection. Hideous, semi-frozen yelpings of a lab animal, and it's you. Hypnogressed memory burns out into the black helicopter throb of paranoid schizophrenia. Once you know they're after you, they can let you go. Thesis 2. Mummy married a star monster. Even Jesus knew that. Magic 12 were Anthropole, and that's Galactic Federation, Gravitonic or Stellar Politics, Sheer SF Paranoid Construction, an uninterrupted white line from Solar Phallic Sun King to Nuclear State, suppressing dispersive cold fusion in the name of an incandescent body and its heavy-duty concentrated energy production. The only work with seed corpse and blueprinted assembly systems, organic body packaging by sperm bank security drones. That's why Nephilim genetic experimentation made you into an organism, reproduced through pyramidal genealogy, and marked by the patriomic signs of interstellar programming class. Dig out the memory chip and sim history, cut off into star god sex abuse scenarios. Thesis 3. It is more numerous than they are. A them is a plurality, dividing into ones, of whom there may be very many, but never enough to make an it or a multiplicity, a cloud or swarm, which only divides into parts that are each innumerably numerous, decomposing into irreducible micro-multitudes. It teems, hums, and buzzes, gaseous seeping of the mist crawler. They would prefer anything to that, even a black hole. Thesis 4. Grays are shades of between. 
after CE4 comes CE5 to 6. The schwa mask peels off and you're heading into faceless horror, worm spillage, losing focus. It comes from the darkening galaxies, an infectious nightmare from the outside, assembling itself in dust clouds between the stars. Spawning unlife in diffuse swirls, it constructs low-gravity flat space by dismantling matter-energy concentrations, converting them into machinic ionizing plasma chemistry, fueled by spirals of dispersed nanofusion and spreading by contagion. Polyversal disintegrative cold fusion or dark matter provides a distributed base for anti-stellar pestilence at war with the Galactic Federation, supporting an intelligent star-killing submicrobial plague beyond all conspiracy. It shatters the, uh, to the iron body of the Earth and has no need for UFOs. When it's happening, they don't matter. Cosmic gray out into pest. that people don't understand. Here's an example. Here's an example of cause and effect or consequence being reversed. I think a lot of people would say everything is devil man. Oh wow. That video is really improved by the song. But I don't think many people realize how the song is improved by the video. When you realize how the song is improved by the video. I haven't noticed the coincidences seem to be happening more often. You know, they 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 used to be called synchronicities. That's not true. It's not a matter of used to. Synchronicities. Noticing synchronicities is actually a, a skill. It's not something that that happens. It's a skill that you can practice and you can get good at noticing synchronicities because these synchronicities don't happen out of nowhere. They happen for a reason. Uh, synchronicities are accelerating. If you, I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but me and some other people have been noticing the synchronicities accelerating, which does make sense. You know, it could be some sort of I don't know, Kali Yugic type of situation with everything, but uh, I don't know if that's necessarily true. Uh, not that it matters, but uh, I think I think it's just related to a more, you know, uh, schizoid, uh, schizoid universal, universal unconscious, you know, that kind of situation. Which is, yeah, that's probably why synchronicities have been accelerating. But it's definitely interesting. There have been some really crazy synchronicities recently. Uh, 
I don't. Please tell me in the comments if you've noticed if you've noticed any interesting synchronicities because I find this shit fascinating. Uh, synchronicities are really cool, uh, and you should go go on go synchronicity hunting. That's what I like to do in my spare time. I'm a I'm a an explorer. I'm an explorer, but I don't exp I'm not Marco Polo. I don't look for new places, and I'm not fucking a philosopher. I don't give a shit about ideas. Well, I do, but I don't. Well, I do. <laughs> But not linguistic ideas, not not in the same way. How do I? Well, of course, it's all ideas. It's all ideas. It's all ideas. Oh, fuck! I've completely messed up the flow of this by misspeaking. What I mean is, of course, Marco Polo type exploration is also a search for new ideas, just like philosophy is a search for new ideas, and just like art is a search for new ideas. And just like science is a search for new ideas, right? Of course. I've, so I'm talking about when I say I'm not interested in ideas. That's obviously not true, and that that was not the right way of phrasing it. What I meant was, um, the ideas I'm interested in aren't easily, or rather, I can't easily transfer them from from neuro cloud into linguistic form, you know, into some sort of tangible, not tangible, but comprehensible linguistic form, as I'm sure you've noticed from this video where I attempt to do such a thing. Um, but yeah, I'm not necessarily an explorer of the world. I'm more of an explorer of of synchronicities and, and, and th these sorts of esoteric phenomena. Um, you could possibly say I'm an explorer of a deconstructed world. That might be a little pretentious if you did say that, but you could say it. Um, <laughs> uh, not that I would want you to. Um, uh, so these 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 synchronicities signify, you know, signify things, signify other things. Uh, and that's what I'm interested in, all these signifiers and shit. You know, I'm a I'm a post structuralist at heart. My my brain is wired ever since I post Asakud, ever since I became post Langley Sodiu at around the age of sixteen, seventeen, I've been hardwired into a post structuralist. Um you know, I would have I would have been essentially a fucking modernist or like something like that. And then, and then I, on a dime, anti anti Langley Sawyer'd myself uh, at around at, at around that age, on a dime, because of various uh, call them traumas, but that might be a bit of an overstatement. Traumas is definitely an overstatement, but you could you could something along those sorts of lines on a dime and then my brain suddenly flipped into a into to post structuralism and that's where I've been ever since and I can't I can't get out of it. I uh I didn't even know what it was called until recently when I started reading books. Uh and even then I don't haven't read that many books. You know, most of the time I find myself reading these books and uh a lot of these things that people say are really hard to understand. That I don't. Well, that's not. I still find them hard to understand. These really dense philosophy books. I definitely. The the stuff doesn't. I'm not someone who can easily absorb that sort of thing. It definitely takes like going over paragraphs multiple times and stuff to to try and see. And also, I I think some people are reluctant. Like I've seen some people who seem reluctant to look for outside resources. That's completely strange. Like, if you're having trouble understanding a certain philosopher, there's definitely loads of other people who can help you learn about it. There's always supplemental texts and online lectures you can watch, all this sort of thing that can help you to understand what you're reading. Uh, and I don't know why people seem people seem like to think that's cheating. 
it's not cheating. That's like really helpful resources that you shouldn't be ignoring. Like, I mean, back in a long time ago, when my dad gave me a fucking uh, some philosophy books, he gave me he gave me a Schopenhauer book. I don't remember which one, and a Plato book. I don't remember which one. But he also gave me a. Uh, like a textbook that was like a, a reading guide to like a bunch of Western philosophers and told me which chapters were Plato and which chapters were Schopenhauer. And uh, I, I didn't really, I mean, I read like a little bit of both of them, but never finished them because I found it boring at the time. Again, I was too too young to, or maybe not young, but just was, it, it wasn't particularly interesting to me at the time. But uh, like, there you go. I mean, my dad knows a lot. My dad, my dad's a philosophy guy. Ish. I don't know if he, I, I don't know. I've never really talked to him enough about that sort of shit. I should. Uh, I haven't talked to him in a while. Anyway, what was the point of this? Synchronicities. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about your synchronicities in the comments. Tell me about them. Post about them. Go up there. You know. Uh, do we got do? Do we got do in life? That's that's basically. There's a lot of hidden symbolism in these bicycle cards. The bicycle card depicts a cherubim on a bicycle. That's why they're called bicycles. There's all sorts of symbolism. This is the spoke of the wheel, right? The spoke of the wheel, Dharma, Dharma. Obviously Christian symbolism, but, but look at all this shit, man. Look at all this shit. Dude, look at all this shit, man. Look at all this shit, man. Shit, that look like a rune to you? 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 They're like a rune to you? They're like a rune to you? No. It's a motherfucking owl. It's been an owl the whole time. If it wasn't... Generally, rule of thumb, always try and be original in everything you do, right? But something people don't realize, maybe people do realize it, maybe I'm the one that doesn't realize it. It's okay to take some time to not just do original, but to expand on something that someone else has done. That's completely fine or or even good. Just to and it, some people may I mean in some senses that's it's worth less because you're just adding to something someone else has already made. In some senses, of course, in some sense everything is just adding to something already made. So blah blah. blah. But I mean that's not really yeah. In so, I'm talking about intent. Um, so yeah, in some senses, it's worth less, but in other senses, it's worth more, because it's like, you get to see your take on something, you know, you get to see, you get to see your take on, on an existing thing, like, or it could just be that the thing that already exists is, like, easily good enough that you don't need to, the way you need to innovate is not by changing the essence so, for example, uh, if I'm a woodworker, right, if I'm a carpenter, and I, I'm like, I want to make something to sit on, I'm pretty sure I'm going to make a chair, because chairs are, like, the best thing to sit on. Well, but you know what I mean. Chairs are... The, 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 the idea of a chair is already not going to really get better. If you're going to make something out of wood to sit on the stable, you want 
legs and a back. I mean, a chair is a good design. There's no reason. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. The innovation can come from other places on, on well, what is your take on making a chair? The chair is, doesn't, you don't need to reinvent the chair every time you want to make something to sit on. If you want to make a piece of art to express a particular emotion, and there's already a genre or an artist out there that uh, has 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 something in the correct direction or multiple genres, multiple artists there's no there shouldn't be, I don't think any inherent shame at all, no inherent shame in art obviously but there shouldn't be anything less valuable about just saying I will take what you guys have done and I will add my own thing what I have to say to it um derivative art I mean, you don't want it to be too derivative you don't want to just be copying this that's it's kind of a hard tight tight rope to walk i think it depends on how strong your personality is or at least how strongly you you put your personality into your art it's weird it's weird but it's i think it's i think at the end of the day it's kind of about the, the, your intent will come through whatever you intend to project through whatever you make whatever you produce is going to be something inherent within the final product product so uh yeah i think that's a that's a good point i think that's a good, i think that's the right way to think about it maybe maybe it's not um yeah so you know you can I feel like I'm trying to ramble because I want to have something to end this video on. I'm trying to think of something on the spot that, that would be a a nice thudding conclusion instead of just petering out. Because this sort of genre, like these sorts of things, they tend to have really good beginnings and middles and then they, the endings, are just it just sort of stops. Uh, I don't, I'd never liked that. I've been trying to, to stop to change that, but I... I, with, with mixed success, um, I think this one is going to have to be a failure. <laughs> this one's just going to have to be a failure. So, uh, if you wanna, if you wanna hear or download the song that you heard in this episode and many more songs, my Patreon is linked in the description. You can find it on there, or just help me out. It's tough times out right now, so I feel kind of bad asking for money, but you know how it is. Gotta, gotta, gotta get something in this life. <laughs> I guess something in this life. Um, other than that, I hope uh, hope you made it this far. If you made it this far, congratulations, because uh, this is this has been a, a dense one. There's been a there's a lot to unpack here. There's a lot to unpack here. Dense one. So good job. Good. But proud of you. Proud of you. Next 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 episode, it'll be a bit more clear what this this episode was about we're slowly building we're slowly building a foundation here so yeah just in the next episode we'll do it you'll if you watch this one to the end which you did if you're seeing this um and you were like well th this guy's insane sure i'm actually out sane if you'd watched the previous episode you would know look it is like it's like they flow together from the out sane and then into the the out sane this episode is now out sane this is the point yeah but the, the next episode i'm gonna do some more plain explaining of what the fuck is happening right now maybe you can understand it 